Well, could Missourians need a photo ID to vote in the November election? Well, our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley is live in Jefferson City to explain the legislation on the governor's desk right now that does make a handful of election changes. Emily? Well, Mandy or Vic, if you've been to your polling place within the last year, you know that you can take a current utility bill that has your name and address, or you could take your voter ID card, a student ID, or even a driver's license in order to vote. But later this year, there's a chance that some of those forms of ID won't work when you're at the polling place. And this is a goal that Republicans have been working on for some time. I would say that is probably the biggest disappointment of this legislative session for us was that bill passing the finish line. A defeat for Democrats, but a win for the GOP. I think the passage of a very strong uh, election integrity bill is uh, probably the single biggest highlight. A large elections package waiting for the governor's approval would require photo ID to vote, meaning only a driver's license or a U.S. or state issued ID that has the voter's photo and address on it, along with an expiration date, would be allowed. Back in 2020, the Missouri Supreme Court blocked the Secretary of State's office from requiring photo identification to vote. Parson is back on board with trying to enforce it again. I think in today's world, when you can provide ID for everybody at no charge that we can do that, you know, that once that, I think having a voter ID to go vote is, is, a, is a fair way to do an election. Democrats in the Senate were also able to add their provision, allowing two weeks of no excuse absentee voting. We, know, we knew it was a top priority and we tried to do the very best we could uh, without absolutely getting something horrible, absolutely horrible, shoved down our throat, which was a real possibility. The legislation also prohibits touchscreen voting machines and requires groups registering voters to check in with the Secretary of State. If you register more than 10 people, then you have to do different things, making it like our groups like the, Missouri, the League of Women Voters and other organizations that are nonpartisan that register folks problematic. Now, if this is signed by the governor, then starting in January of 2023, Missourians who register to vote can also choose a party affiliate on their registration card. They don't have to, though, and if you don't, you would be considered unaffiliated. As for that free ID card that you heard Governor Mike Parson talking about, if you head on over to the Secretary of State's website, there's information there on how you can get a free non-driver's license if this goes into effect, and he's expected to sign it later this summer. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.